Hey guys, I'm Shelly. And I am Mike. And we are camping with the Confrers. Yes, we Stuck are. Stuck in traffic edition. <laughs> yes, we are. But uh, we're going to be pulling in after dark at a harvest host. We really don't like that, but sometimes it happens. So this this weekend, what are we doing, Michael? We are going to harvest host through the Bourbon Trail in Kentucky. Yes, so we will show you exactly where we're going to stay, uh, the, st this, the, 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 the distilleries that we will visit, and I don't know, we'll see what else we can get into. We're meeting up with some friends that are going to be going along with us, and then after we harvest host through the Bourbon Trail, we're going to head further south to Tennessee, but that'll be a separate video altogether. So if you want to check that one out, be sure to uh, subscribe or hit the notification bell if you're already a subscriber, so that way you'll know when we release the next one. There you go. Okay guys, so I know we already did the intro video for this um, episode, but I have to stop here because we had something very cool, very unexpected, once in a lifetime thing that happened. Right. So make sure you stick to the end because we're going to share with you. And if you're a bourbon fan, you do not want to miss this. We're up to nine miles an hour now. Cruising. Redhead, you got something to say? Come here. Was your dinner good? Yes? It was good. Poor Dingo, she did not come with us on this trip, so you're not going to see her on this one. She got to stay with Grandma, though. She's in heaven right now. Yes, and pointing out that this is Friday, Red Shirt Friday, and I'm supporting the Buckeyes too. So stay tuned for the shenanigans. It's orange, y'all. So this is why we don't come to Harvest Host or really try to go anywhere at night. It is pitch black out here. We're trying to find a sort of level spot, and I can't see squat. So What's your What's your level mate pro say? I'm level side to side, but I'm 10 and three quarter inches nose high. So okay. I'm gonna try backing up and put the rear of the trailer almost to the pine tree back there. Okay, I'll okay. try. Okay, I'm gonna get him backed up here. It's late, it's dark, and I'll get back with you. Yes. Yes. Come on back. You're gonna wanna go driver's side. I wanna go towards the driver's side? No, sorry, passenger. If you come straight back right now, you will, when you put the slide out, you'll hit the pine tree. What are you thinking? No. All right, I'm gonna pull forward. I'm gonna back up right here. Okay. So our stairs will come down this way. Because I feel like, I mean, this has still got a pretty good slope to it, but we might be able to get the yellow block or the red block center to get it close. Okay. 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 Deb's just carrying around her whole bottle of wine. Well, kind of. And we're going to try something else. So you have, what is it, I'm going to need both of these. Okay. So be on your walk and talk as I'm backing up. I'm going to need almost all of that. Okay, so I'll tell you if you're about to flip over. Hold that button in. I'm getting ready to move. My button is in. Stop. You good there? Okay. That's it. That's all you get. I'll take it. That's got it for me. So I pumped the airbags back up and I got us within a quarter of an inch from the uh, on the nose. And then we're an inch off side to side, so we'll call that close enough for tonight. So you said you put the airbags up? Yep. Okay. So All right. 
Don't be like us. This is what you're, we're telling you don't do. Don't, don't be us. See how we're right on, quarter inch. If I let my airbags out, it'll start to drop. Now we're quarter inch up. Now we're half inch up. Three quarters of an inch up. Good morning, guys. We showed you last night we came in to this harvest house. So now that the sun's out, oh, the sun's really out. Just want to give you a quick peek about what's out here at this wild side winery. I'm not even sure what that's for. Let's see what it's like up here. Did you change your mind? So you can see it's a really cute place. We are going to be heading out before uh, they open. Debbie bought me a bottle of wine last night from here because they were here earlier. And all, uh, Wildside is also an event center. They're having a wedding later today. Way back over there you can see where there's chairs set up for a wedding under a tree. And that's where the harvest has section is. Okay, Michael, my only concern is us getting stuck here. You think it's going to be good? Okay. Let's see, because our chalks kind of, uh, or our levelers kind of sink in the ground a little bit. They sell rubber mats that you can put underneath these to help prevent that. We don't have them. So we got up here to the Whiskey Thief Distillery. Uh, there's two of us, there's one already here, but I think this might be a two spot slot. So Shelly went down to check in here at the gift shop, right here, and uh, see if they can get us snuck in here for the night so we can get this party started. I love this Harvest House location. I can hear the cows mooing. I don't know if you can hear it. So we have to get parked and then on to our adventures. So we are a little early. Mike's gonna just park over here along this fence for now. How's your um, spot, Michael? Well, unfortunately, I have to unhook because we need the truck, but I am perfectly level side to side and front to back, sitting in the grass right there where we are. So, what are the chances? Well, it helps Why make... Why we got that last night? Right. <laughs> helps make up for last night. Right. It's so pretty out here, too. It is. All right, so we're at our first stop on the bourbon trail. 
we are stopping by the Jim Beam Distillery. There's Mr. Beam right there behind uh, Shelly Kay. Right here. So we're gonna stop in. We have the fabulous fan bros with us today. There they are. So let's go inside, check out Jim Beam and see what they have to offer. Okay, let's go. Let's get Good. some tastings and then do a little walk around. Sounds like a plan. All right. Okay, so Jim Beam, you can get any bottle engraved for $10, like three lines. Here, I'll show you. I'll put a little video in here for you. Should I get one? My Vanna White. So upstairs at Jim Beam is a giant bar. Very nice. All right, Dave, so what do you think of Jim Beam so far? It don't taste very well. <laughs> <laughs> nice place. Yeah, actually, it's pretty nice. Right? It's really nice. Yeah, you look at all these old buildings on the outside, they look all junky and blah, uh, but you go inside and it's really nice in there. Yeah, it is. It is really nice. Well, let's go find yeah, some, yeah. let's go find some drinks. That's how it is. Do it. So back here is the Baker Beam Historical yeah. Home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to head to the kitchen table. Shelly Kay just got excited. Just look. Now we're going to do the tasting. All right, so we're at the kitchen table here at Jim Beam. We're going to grab some food to put in our bellies and get a couple of flights. What you got there, dear? I have a flight. You see my flight? To compete. Nice. I have Basil Hayden, Knob Creek, Nine Year, and Baker's. Okay. So. How that is. And then this flight is the Basil Hayden Straits, the Basil Hayden Subtle Smoke, and the Toast. Cheers. Cheers. All right, what'd you get for your lunch? Oh, you got a fly on yours. I got the boring burger, but no, it looks, look at it. That's not Double very boring. Deckered, it, yeah, it looks delicious, but I haven't tried it yet. It's a monster. Fries, and you got. I got the brisket and grits, which I already dug into. It's really good. Debbie, what'd you get for your drink? I got the Oh My Rye. Oh My Rye. Yeah. Cheers. I think it's like a bourbon Mai Tai, maybe. Okay. <laughs> bourbon okay. Cider Rum. Where are we at now? We are at Bullet Distillery. This is one of Michael's favorites. So we are going to go in here and do a tour and tasting and pick up a special surprise. For you, Stay tuned. Here in the work for these guys. These are our pioneers of whiskey. So up top we have Mr. Tom Bullet and his wife, the lovely Miss Betsy Bullet. They are the founders of our brand. They founded Bullet in 1987 when they realized Tom's lifelong dream of bringing his great great grandfather's high rye burger recipe back to market. That's the orange label bourbon, same Nashville. It's just been aged a little bit longer for 10 to 12 years. And it also does go up in fruit just a little bit to 91.2 proof. Then the third selection today is actually not a bourbon because it's our rye whiskey. Has anybody tried our rye whiskey before? All right, so we just got to the distillery up here at Bullet. Getting ready to go inside for our little grand tour of the new Bullet facility. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Really nice. All right, awesome. So we're ready to take that first sip, you guys. So we're gonna pick up, uh, we're already holding our glass. We're just gonna take that first sip. Remember to leave some for your second sip. Yeah, 
on to the third distillery tour, guys. And this one is at our harvest host. Our camper is, I don't even think you can see it. It's here. This is the Three Brothers Farm uh, whiskey, the Whiskey Thief Distillery. So we went and checked this one out and see what they've got to offer. I think they've got some live music going on today. They do. Um, just show them just a quick pan of how beautiful it is. Yeah, so we have the meetup spot here. And then it's all just farm fields. There's the truck. And if you look, right up there is our camper. So, easy trip home. <laughs> If we can, ooh, well, so you. Oh, just at the uh, Harvest House Distillery, and the tractor goes by. So, last and final stop on our bourbon trail tour. We're going to stop in here at Buffalo Trace. We just pulled in, they don't open for 30 minutes, and the line's huge. It's so crazy, it's crazy already. I'm not even sure what all we'll get. So, I mean, e even if we'll stay. Right? We'll see. We're at least gonna show you this line though. Right. Let's go. All right, so we made it through the check-in line where they check your IDs, give you your fancy little bracelet. Can you show your fancy bracelet? Just to, uh, uh-huh just to make it into the gift shop. So today they've got one allocated, which we'll show you once we get in there, if we can get our hands on a bottle of it. But they've been open for about 30 minutes and we're just now getting into uh, the next line yeah. for the gift shop, so. And we stood in line for an hour. Yeah, we were in line for an hour just to get in the front gates. Oh, he has his so, allocation. Let's see what we can get. Okay, Shelly Kay. One per person per day. One for you. That's why we're both here. One for me. And the buffalo trace is two per person per day. Yes, yes it is. But you can only get one. This one. There you go. This one. Did I get the right one? Yes. Okay. We're going to run this stuff out to the truck and then come back in and look at the grounds real quick before we take off to our next stop. So I'm standing here at my happy place right outside the uh, Blanton's building. Unfortunately, there was no Blanton's today for the allocation. It was just the Eagle Rare. But uh, at least I get to look in the windows and see all the stuff that I'm not allowed to have. To see what's inside the window. Catching Michael, being sad. Just looking at all the Blanton's. Are you sad, Michael? I am sad. All right, we got the inside scoop. He's oh. taking us into the Blanton's building. I've got chills. Mm. Oh my goodness. There's that smell that we can smell out there. It's all single barrels. We do all single barrels in here. Okay. So a lot of times we'll do a single barrel like uh, Elmer J. Lee. We'll do a single barrel um, uh, E.H. Taylor. If you're doing a barrel pick, uh, Sazerac Barrel Select, like those barrels up there, those okay. are going to pick by somebody. Okay. Usually a liquor store or a restaurant. So we'll see, the, we'll see the bottle of those and they'll get a special sticker on it. So okay. those might be, they could be anything from Eagle Rare, Buffalo Trace, the Blantons. So, wow. Uh, but everything comes through here. We'll run five days a week, 24 hours a day. We'll run both lines, morning and afternoon shift, evening shift overnight. We run a single. Okay. Uh, we'll roughly do about 12,000 bottles a day. Okay. Wow. And that's it. It's all still done by hand. About 15 different hands will touch every wow. single bottle before it comes sealed up in the case. These are all empties. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah. Empty boxes, <laughs> yeah. empty boxes. Yeah. And the horses, people will ask about the horses. And they say, yeah. There are certain one that's harder to find out. Really? Yeah, we so don't these have are, all of them. These are the boxes. Okay. And each one, there's equal number of all letters. Huh. Okay. And then the thing is, there's two N's. B-L-A-N, just an N. Mm -hmm. T-O-N-S. This N's got two dots on it. It's got a colon. 
Oh, I'll so have to check mine. So, and you can see each each horse is in a different position. This jockey's name is Ichabod, so he's no old. Okay. okay. So drop it, it fell off. So, but each one has B L A N T O N S. Okay. So here's the O, he's going for the whip, he's coming out of that final turn, heading for it home, down the final stretch, he wins the derby. Very nice. And you can see that red line on there? That's called the red line. That shows you how deep that whiskey pushed in and out. It's gotcha. like reverse, a reverse smoke ring. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it shows you how that whiskey pushes in and out, and that's where you get that color and that flavor. Okay. So it's the wood, the tannins, the lipids, the oils. Gets that sugar out of that. It's called esterification, where it pulls it out of that little, little line of sugar. So, okay. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the one I have on my bar top is a uh, half a barrel top. Okay. With the holes in it. Nice. Kind yeah, of yeah, curves yeah, around. Right around there. Yep. Well, we don't have all the letters. I was tempted to buy our missing yeah. letters when we were in here. Which you could do. And I then think just say, that's cheap. Yeah. yeah. And then finish it out. And then as you have go time, then you can hunt for the other one. Right. That's true. That makes it fun, too. So that way, these are temporary there. Yeah. Just right. space these are for the other one. But you can see some of the awards. We were you know, just over the year. We've won so much. Um, yeah, we, most recent, 2023 International Whiskey Festival, we won first, second, and third. With William for uh, with George T. Stagg, mm -hmm. Stagg, and he's called Stagg Jr., and then Wayne Maru Weller, number one, two, and three. We're going to take some really cool pictures of this, uh, of some of the, some of the, some of the uh, hard to find, the antique collections on the upper left, and their Pappy collection here, Elmer T. This is, this is Elmer T.'s death bottle. The Elmer T. developed plant is here at this distillery in 1984, the very first single barrel bourbon. And we were down to 25 people, and Elmer T was hired by Alfred Blanton. So he said, I gotta do something to try to revive this industry. So he said, I'm gonna do a single barrel bourbon like what Albert used to do. He used to have big parties. And he had a single barrel bourbon that he would just take out of the barrel and serve to his customers and guests. And okay. he sent them home to the model. So Elmer T said, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna call it the barrel. Albert Blanton grew up across the street, and the name of the farm they lived on was called Rockville Farm. That's Rockville Farm Bourbon. So that's uh, kind of the Blanton's yeah. Bottling Hall. This was the boiler room. We used to have a big boiler in here. It has two big smokestacks that came out the front of it. And that's where they produced the steam. And so we used steam in the uh, still, mm -hmm. steam in the warehouse. So we were the first distillery, actually under Colonel Taylor, E.H. Taylor, mm -hmm. the first one to put steam in the warehouse to heat them all winter. That way, you can still age the bourbon. It'll still move in, in and out of the barrel. Gotcha. But otherwise, it gets too cold. It gets stagnant and stale. There's no movement. Yeah. Every, Every time, time we come here, here I peek in the window and just like, this is my little happy place. And then you just happen to catch me Good. today. That's well, awesome. I saw this. I saw you looking. I thought this man wants to go in there. The Lord put me in, in that position, <laughs> yes. that moment, yes. that time. Yes. Did you hear that? All right. Yes. Hey, we appreciate Thank it, David. Thank you very much. Sunday, right? You know? Right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, good morning, everybody. Good we, morning. We are finishing up our stays here, harvest hosting on the Bourbon Trail. So we stayed at two different harvest hosts. We stayed here at uh, the Whiskey Thief Distillery. And what was the name of the winery? Last night we were at Wildside Winery. At Wildside Winery. So they were about 20 minutes away from each other. Yeah. yeah. So easy peasy, hop from one to the other since you're not only allowed to stay for one night at a Harvest Host, but we wanted to stay here on the Bourbon Trail for a couple of days. So just a quick recap, what did you think of the two places? Oh, both Harvest Hosts were great. Um, the only thing that you need to keep in mind with the first Harvest Host is they do close at five o'clock or no, seven. They close yeah. at seven on the weekends and we got in late as you saw. Oh, by the way, we have an affiliate link that can get you 15% off. We'll put that in the description below. I oh, yeah. to mention that. There you go. Um, and so anyway, so they want you to make a purchase and we weren't able to get there early enough to, to make a purchase, a suggested purchase. Sure. So we had um, Deb pick up a bottle of wine for us there. Um, this place, you just cannot beat the view at this Yeah. At this place right here. We have a nice level site. Um, they said that they only had room for one on the Harvest Host website, but I called the um, distillery and they said, yeah, it was fine for us to both come right. together. So. All right, so we hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you smash that subscribe button down there. And uh, yeah. Yeah, but you know what I want to know? So have you guys ever been harvest hosting? If not, is there a reason? Is there something holding you back? 
Leave it in the comments below. We'd really like to know. Yeah, let us know. Maybe we can help you through something that you just don't know about yet, or maybe you guys can help us through something that we've been doing wrong. Because <laughs> that happens. Right. All right, talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.